Hi guys, it's Nige at Lock and Key Dependent Estate Agents and I hope you're well. It's Wednesday morning, it's not the greatest weather, it's uh, starting to rain. But I'll tell you where I am, I'm in a really, really favoured cul-de-sac in Campion Drive. And as you can see just in there behind me, a little cul-de-sac tucked away in Sorrel Close, uh, with a level walking distance into town. It's a unique little place, Sorrel Close, it's, it's very favoured, this address. You can see me, this attractive red brick detached property just in there behind me and it's an interesting one because it was bought a few years but a number of years back as a four bedroom detached but these guys have made some modifications they've made it to a larger three bedroom detached and opened up the lounge to the dining room made the ensuite bigger and the bathrooms as well i do apologize if there's some buffeting because it's windy you know the weather at the moment it is what it is i'm trying to get us out there and these videos up and running but you can see that nice porch as you go in there's parking there's a decent garden at the back it's truly immaculate, and when I say truly immaculate, uh, when you go inside, it really is. It's very nicely laid out, and beautifully laid out inside. Now the address is gonna to appeal to people because it's gonna be closer to the town, closer to amenities, uh, surgeries, good road links in and out. Sorrel Close is a favoured address. So as it's raining, I'm eager to get you into this property. You see where that canopy storm porch is. We're gonna get you into this property, this nice four bed, uh, three bedroom, large three bedroom detached up at Sorrel Close. And there's the front. I really wish it wasn't going to rain today because I could spend longer out here. But you can see the drive, there's Max S there, garage. That's this nice little garden, the herbaceous borders, and I've parked my car in the communal areas. Now there's loads of little walkthroughs, it's all close. You know, there's a mixture of four bedroom, five bedroom detached properties around here, some semis up there. And as you just come out of Sorrel Close, you link into Spa Road. And look, I'm quite a fit lad. 10, 15 minute walk no more, and you're straight into the town centre. You've got schools around here, you've got a Lyric down there, you've got the Oak up here, you can get to Bower Hill Primary School, Scened Primary School, you can get along the, the road up to, you know, um, the canal walks if you want to, and then heading towards um, Devizes from Scened that way. You can also go along the A350, link up to Broughton Gifford if you wanted to down there where the Asda is. You can go up to Trowbridge on the A350 or Warminster, or if you wanted to go to the stunning National Trust village of Laycock. It's about five miles north from here. Melksham has its new campus array of shops, uh, road links to the M4, about 20 minutes on a good day. Uh, stunning city of Bath is 13, 14 miles away or whatsoever. Um, and there is a railway station in, in Melksham as well that runs every other hour to Chippenham and that can take you to the main railway line. Melksham surrounded by other towns like Trowbridge, um, like Corsham, Devizes, Chippenham, Bradford and Avon. There's lots around Melksham as well. Now the rain is getting, you know, stronger now and heavier. So I'm just gonna walk around here just quickly just to show you there's a little bit more of a communal parking area. And this is the type of properties that are out there. Burnett Close and Speedwell are in there. And like I said, there's some doctor surgeries as well. There's Giffords on your on your doorstep, for instance, and Snowbury Lane. We're gonna go through here. Let's get out in the rain and take a good look around this property in Sorrel Close. I think all we've had is rain this year. I mean, it's uh, it's April, so let's get in anyway. It's a shame it's not sunny today, but let's enjoy this video. It's a stunning property, this. I love that lovely porch, that imposing porch that we come out to. Nice little areas of grass there. Lovely door that goes into with side panels. And as we come in, let me just close this door, dry off a little bit, just doing this tour. And here we've got a nice hallway that will spur off to different rooms like kitchen. There's a loo in there, dining room, living room over there. And you can just see the stairs that climb up to that first floor landing. You've got gas and double glazing here. There's a radiator there. And if I just walk along here a little bit, you've got a little area there from the under the stairs if you wanted for storage. But it's a lovely little hallway. Coming in from that porch, you can just see and the decor, when I said truly immaculate, you know on my tours I say what's on the tin. It really is truly immaculate, this property. It's a lovely address, Sorrel Close. A lot of people will downsize to this address because you're closer to amenities. A lot of people want this address because it's closer to amenities. It's a level walk into town. They don't come up that often and it's very, very sought after. So I do recommend you get in contact with me if this property is gonna be of interest to you. We mentioned the modifications, which I'll go through now in this tour, especially upstairs. Let's just take a little left here while we're here, because as you can imagine, this is the loo, tiled flooring, washam basin just there, no level WC with a concealed cistern, obscure double glazed window just to that front there what you'd expect in a loo. Come back out again, little understairs storage cupboard, 
Um, let's open this one up. It's not under stairs, it's just a storage cupboard, I should say. The area under the stairs is actually there. You could block that off if you want, but that's, you know, they've just got some bits and pieces in there. And if I then turn left, coming from here, this just opens up into this nice living room. And it's kind of a dual aspect living room because you've got a window there bringing in natural light, radiator, seats there. You could put a TV on the wall if you want. That's an electric feature fire. It's not a gas fire or anything. There's a mantle or a feature there. As I come back here, you can just see the size of this room. And it's great because you can get your sofa there, sofa there. It's a dual aspect. And one of the things that you might notice is that you've got some doors there that are multi-pane doors and that opens up into this garden room or if you want to call it a dining room whereas before that was all covered up so they've opened that up just to bring up that just to make it more open plan in here and i think it's a great idea lovely li living room like i said a lot of space dual aspect let's bring the camera in here just so i can just show you as this opens up you can still eat your food in here you can kind of have this as a kickabout room because it does open up into this nice garden and the garden's interesting as well because apart from that gable you're not really overlooked there's no window in there so it's a nice sort of semi-private garden as well but you can just see if you ever noticed that wall there that would have been closed off and then it would have been coming in from this these doors here just walk around you can see nice big picture windows Let's pop the camera out there. You can just see what I mean by that gable. You're not really overlooked by anything in that sense. Um, it's quite a nice wide garden as well. Personal door into the garage. In here, there's a radiator. And what I like about this room, it does open up from that living room. And the fact that you can come from your kitchen and you can still have, if you can imagine if, you, if you've got children, they can still do their homework in here. You can, you can work in here if you wanted to, put a little laptop in here. You can have as a meditation room, music area. But the fact that it then goes open to that rear garden, I think is really, really nice. Come back through here, back into this living room, and then it just gives you a better idea what this property is about. Come to this angle here, just show you again the space that it does have. And this is the reason why we do the property tours to demonstrate possibilities of, of properties. We do get a lot of compliments, especially when things have been done because it makes sense and you can see what had been done there and I think it was a great idea that they open it up. Coming back from this living room and say garden room area, I'm gonna go back through and you can see those are the other doors that open up in there. Back out into this hallway. Remember we came, there's a loo in there. You've got that lovely outside porch and you can just take your shoes off. You can come in and then there, this links up into the kitchen. Towel flooring, You've got a nice little side panel again for a window or a pane there for light. Yes, you're gonna have eye devil cupboards. You can see the under lighting. Yes, you're gonna have a built-in cooker, you know, base units, plumbing for wash machine, whatever. You know, you've got a nice window out there. Again, if I just pop that camera out there, just gives you another angle of that garden. I'm just bringing it back through here. You can see all these built-in cupboards, base units, eye level cupboards, little pantry cupboard in there, radiator, and that nice tile flooring. And I can hear the rain outside, it's bucketing down out there at the moment. So it's nice to be inside here. Bring the camera back again, just to give you another angle. This kitchen. And of course it then links into the dining room. Of course then with the dining room, the flooring continues. You've got that double glazed window to the front, a little sink unit there. There's your boiler. And what's useful is that side access. So again, you can, if you don't want to come in the front, you can come in the side, come in this way. If you've got a dog, you can dry it down if it's wet or something. Or if you've got children, you can come in or you can bring in your wall. You know, you can bring in anything from the side. There's a side gate also that way. But you can get out that way as well, which is pretty useful. Base units, double glazed window to the front, gas boiler. And there's your kitchen. Let's do a quick recap of the downstairs before we go upstairs. Just a quick recap, we're in the utility room at the moment. There's your gas boiler that has been serviced. It will be serviced um, before anybody moves in. Double glazed door to the side aspect with the side there. Double glazed window to the front. Plumbing for washing machine, base units. Well equipped kitchen, tile flooring, pantry. Nice size window to the rear as one would expect. Nice lighting in here. Come back through here and then again you've got that doorway that porch outside there's a loo in here cupboard in here and we go into this nice imposing living room 
Again, the window's out there. Just look at the weather, look. It hacks me off sometimes because we do these lovely uh, property tours, but rain is rain and we can't do much about it. But look at this lovely living room. And I want to just do the quick recaps because there's always something to take in. It just has a peaceful zen about this house. It's very well lit. Even in a day like this, it's so well lit. It's so tidy. You can just see the, I'll just show you the finishings a minute because you know, basically you can wheel your suitcases in here, guys. I just wanted to show you so you can just see what I see in the video. And then we finish off with this dining room, the garden room. Let's pop upstairs to have a look at those bedrooms, uh, shower room and um, ensuite the modifications they've made. As promised, we're just gonna walk through the hallway again. Remember that front porch, that openness there. Let's climb these stairs. So up we go. And as we climb up, there's a radiator there. It's gonna split left to right. That's your airing cupboard. You can see access to loft space there. Now in here is gonna be interesting because this is where it changed. because so there would have been a bedroom in there, but we're gonna leave this room last, okay? I'm just gonna bring the camera around here and we're gonna go into the smaller of the three bedrooms. You can see you've got a bed there, little area there for something, radiator, two teddy bears, so no, no. And then that's your rear garden. Like I said, it's actually not bad. It's not the biggest, it's certainly not the smallest. I would call this larger than average usually. There's a bit of side bit there that they maintain as well. But it's all right, this garden, and especially for a development, because let's be honest, you don't need a massive garden, but this one's slightly larger than others uh, on the estate, and some are probably slightly larger than this, but it's all about maintenance and making life easy. When you walk into a house like this, there isn't much you have to do. So I'm just gonna turn the camera around just to finish off that. So that's that bedroom. Come into a double bedroom. There's a little cupboard over the stairwell, double bed, freestanding either side, radiator. Again, plenty of space in here. Good guest bedroom, this. And then that's the front. You can see the rain. Oh, we can see the rain. I think we're bored of the rain now as a nation, aren't we? We would like some sun for the next three or four months anyway. So look, coming back to this, this is bedroom two and it's important because this was a four bed, remember guys? And I'll show you what the difference was in a minute. We're coming up from these stairs. Good best uh, guest bedroom. Come back through, bathroom, low levels WC, concealed system. That's that ladder style radiator, extractor fan is on. Obscure double glazed window to that rear elevation. And then you've got your sink in here. There's a shaver point, and then they, what they've done is they've taken the bath out of here and put a shower in here. So of course you've got your sprinkler, at, sprinkler head there, tiled surrounds, little shower door. Come back through, all neat and tidy. And then it comes into, that's your airing cupboard, and then it comes into the main bedroom. And in here, in the past, this would have been, I'm just gonna close this door a minute, the bedroom, but what they've done They've taken, they've robbed Peter to pay Paul here. They've made their ensuite bigger, and it's a great ensuite because you've got some tile flooring, low level, low level WC and wash hand basin. And then here, where they did have the ensuite, they've made it into a walk-in double. So all the shower units in there, the sprinkler head, window, and it's just a bigger, bigger room. So then they've taken away from that. And then this area, it's just like a little dressing area. You can put a little seating area in here. You can put your computer in here. And as you turn around, you've got some lovely built-in fitted wardrobes and it just opens up into this space then, which is the, the main bedroom. So in effect, you would have had a different outlook here because what would have happened before is the door would have been coming from about here to this bedroom. You would have had another door going in there, smaller en suite, but it was wasted space for them. They just felt as a four bed, it was too small. And this way they created a bigger master bedroom. They didn't need the bedroom for the children. They made a bigger ensuite, which I think is a big tick. And actually it's very clever. They've actually utilized the space rather than just worrying about the fourth bedroom doing nothing. And then it's just a dumping room and people do that. So that's the type, that's the, the modifications we've made here. And it's a decent size this as well, because I'm, I'm standing in here now. You can see there's a big bed. All this is built in anyway to, you know, with nice workmanship and quality. Then it opens around here, so you've got an extra bit here that anybody can use if they want. But your ensuite's bigger as well. A lot, lot bigger. How many ensuites do you see? And you just see that, that area. But they've made this into a double. And that to me just makes sense. 
when I saw the old floor plan, and I have been in this property over the years, I mean, you know, a number of years as you've known, I remember this being a, a small bedroom and it can be, it was a waste of space really. It was like a cot room more than anything. So if you want a three bed instead of a four, and if you don't need that fourth bedroom, hey, this one's gonna be ideal for you. So hopefully I've made some sense. So what we should do now, we've covered upstairs. Let's go out, we're gonna have to go back out in the rain. Let's look at that rear garden for you. Of course, we're just coming from back from the hallway. We've just been upstairs, just showing you those bedrooms and the modifications from the main bedroom. I'm gonna come through again, just show you that back of the hallway. Love that porch in the front. Come through this living room into this dining room area because I've left the door open here. Um, and we're gonna walk through here and then we're gonna have a look at this, this rear garden. Now it's just stopped raining, so I've got lucky. Let me just stand around here a minute because that's that gable we spoke about. Here there's a personal door all to the garage. So you've got an up and over door. Let me just bring you around the side a minute, guys. Because around the side, you've got a side gate and then that opens up into that utility room if you wanted to. There's a door to go back in there and that takes you out to the front. And then if I just bring this garden shot around, you can see it's actually quite a decent garden. So there's a bit of width to it. There's a lot of green to it. There's a shed there. You've got a seating area, which you can build around and make your own. You know, there's a bit to it with this. I'm just gonna walk around here. You've got a patio. There's little taps there. Let's walk around this side. And it's actually okay. That's your garden. All enclosed by timber fencing. So you've got timber fencing there brick walling there and really the reason for these guys moving is lifestyle they're just going to change address they've been here a number of years they've seen a property they like with no chain so that's a bonus as well for anybody looking for this property it could be a very small chain and to summarize when we we do sell these around here they do suit people that want to be closer to the town they want to not be on an overdeveloped development and this isn't in Sorrel close it's very favored for that there's a bit of space around you this property is truly immaculate. They've made the modifications, so it will suit people who are happy with those modifications. The space, it's truly immaculate inside with decent finishing, parking and garage. And it's in a bloody good address, it's all right. So any questions, guys, you know, give me a nudge. It's Nigel Lock and Keener Pentley Estate Agents. I hope you, uh, you have enjoyed this tour. I've really enjoyed doing it. Apologies for the weather. We just got to get stuck in nowadays and just uh, suck that one up. It's been raining for, for months now. But what a great property that we've got on our books today. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. And if there is any questions, feel free to give me a nudge on 01225 707 342.